Section 9.1, example 7. So now we're going to solve sy uh, linear systems in three variables. So a linear equation in three variables would have the form ax plus by plus cz equals d. So now we have a third variable z. Um, the graphs are planes in three dimensions since we've added a third dimension with z. So we'll have three equations with x, y, and z. And the solution will be in the form parentheses x comma y comma z and we call that an ordered triple um, just like when two system um, two equations there's three different cases um, so maybe they intersect at a single point we you can see that in the first picture on the left there's three planes they intersect at a single point and we'll get x comma y comma z we call that consistent and independent um, they can have infinitely many solutions um, where they intersect at a single line. So that's still consistent because we can find a solution, um, but they're dependent because they have that line in common. And then for no solution, there's many versions. Um, it's possible two of them intersect and make a line, um, or two of them, or it's possible they're completely parallel. But in any three of those cases, there's no solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this thing called triangular form to solve these. So example 7, we'll start with triangular form, and example 8, we'll figure out how to get there. So we call this triangular form because it makes a triangle. And we like triangular form because we have one solution, and then we just kind of go backwards to solve. So we know z equals 3, and we'll just go backwards to find the remaining variables. So we know that y plus 2z is 5, so we'll just plug in z equals 3. So y plus 2 times 3 is 5, y plus 6 is 5, minus 6 minus 6, y is negative 1. And so now we know uh, z and y, and we'll just back substitute one more time to find x. So we know that x minus 2y minus z is 1, and then we'll just plug in y and z. So x minus 2 times negative 1 minus 3 equals 1. x plus 2 minus 3, or x minus 1 equals 1. And we add 1 to both sides, add 1, and x is equal to 2. So that's what back substitution is. And so we'll write the solution as 2 comma negative 1 comma 3, and that's an ordered triple. And you could plug those in to check your answer. So in the next example, we're going to try to get this triangular form so that we can do this process. Um, many times we're not in triangular form yet. So we can use those elimination type operations to solve a system in three variables. Um, and this is so that we can get to triangular form. So operations we're allowed to do is we can add an equation to another equation. We can multiply by a constant. So that's like multiplying by 3, negative 3. Um, and then you can also change the order, so interchanging. Um, so I could swap the second and third one if I felt like it made sense to change the order. Um, and the goal is to get triangular form. So the last equation only has one variable. The second equation you'll see has two variables, and the top one has three. That's what makes the triangle. So let's make a triangle in example eight. So I'm going to draw the triangle just so we can kind of visually see the goal. So it looks like we need to get rid of x in the second equation, and we need to get rid of x and y in the third equation. So. We'll do it in a couple steps, but we're going to try to remove those so that we can get a triangle. So I'm just going to label them E1, E2, and E3, just so you know what I'm talking about. So to get rid of X in E2, I have E2 is X plus 2Y minus Z equals 13. And it looks like if I subtract the first equation, the x's will cancel out, because those would be opposites. So minus e1 would be negative x 
minus 2y plus 3z, we'll distribute the negative after, equals 1. So e2 is not changed, and then we'll subtract the entire e1, so we'll distribute that negative. So we get negative x, we get plus 2y, we get minus 3z equals negative 1, and then we'll go ahead and add them, and the whole goal is that those x's cancel out. And that'll be our new e2. So 4y minus 4z equals 12 is our new e2. So we'll write our new system will be x minus 2y plus 3z equals 1 for e1. My new e2 is 4y minus 4z equals 12. And now we need to find the new e3. So we want to get rid of x and e3. We'll worry about y after. We can only do one at a time. So e3 is 3x plus 2y minus 5z equals 3. And you can use either equation. There's often more than one path. Um, I notice e1 and e2 just have single x's. So either of those times negative 3 would make x cancel out. So there's often more than one choice. So I'm just going to do e1 times 3, negative 3. So we'll do e3 minus 3e1. So we'll do negative 3 times all of e1. So e3 stays as is. And then distribute that negative 3 on e1, and then hopefully the x's disappear. So check that you got negative 3x, 6y, minus 9z equals negative 3. And again, those x's cancel out. The whole point is to get rid of x. So I get 8y minus 14z equals 0. And so that'll be our new e3. So it's definitely more complicated than elimination for two variables, um, but we're using the same concepts. So we'll do 8y minus 14z equals 0, and that's my new e3. And then we almost have a triangle. We just have to get rid of the y in the last row. So we'll do one more of these weird operations, and then we can get rid of y. So it looks like I don't want to use e1 because then I'm going to bring x back. So I'm going to use e2 and e3 to get rid of y. So I'm just going to clear the right side just to make space. So we're going to get rid of y and e3 to make that triangle. So e3 is 8y minus 14z equals 0. And then e2 is 4y minus 4z equals 12. So it looks like I have e3. And it looks like I'm going to have to multiply e2 by negative 2. And that's going to give me opposites for those y's so they cancel out. So 8y minus 14z equals 0, and then we get negative 8y, which was the goal. We're looking for those opposites, plus 8z equals negative 24. And the whole point was for y to cancel out, so that's perfect. So negative 14 plus 8 gives me negative 6 for z equals negative 24. And then we can just immediately solve for z and get negative 24 divided by 6, so z is equal to 4. So our triangular form, let's put a line down the middle to separate, we get x minus 2y plus 3z equals 1, 4y minus 4z equals 12, and then we get z equals 4, and this is triangular form. So we know z, and then we'll just do that back sub so we can go backwards and solve for y, and then we'll go backwards again and solve for x. So these are going to take some time to get used to. Be patient. It's definitely going to be hard the first couple times. 
So we know z is 4, so let's find y. So we get 4y minus 4z, so 4 times 4 equals 12. So 4y minus 16 equals 12. Um, we'll add 16. 12 plus 16 is 28. And so we divide by 4, and y is 7. And then we'll just back sub one more time to find x in that first equation. So we get x minus 2y, so minus 2 times 7, plus 3 times z, so 3 times 4, equals 1. And so we get x minus 14 plus 12 equals 1. So x minus 2 equals 1, so we get x is 3. And that's it. We'll just write it as an ordered triple. So 3, 7, 4, and that's our solution. And you can always plug into the original equations um, to check your solution.